So in 2008, um, as Marco said, we started our company and while you heard many stories today about and yesterday about how important e-commerce is and that e-commerce is growing very rapidly, uh, while that is true, the, ma the vast majority of uh, retail revenue still happens offline. And we believe that uh, there's also a nice value in having people in the store and um, connecting uh, consumers to their favorite stores online. Um, because uh, offline, uh, reven offline retail is here to stay and will not disappear. So how are we doing this? <clears throat> Our sort of product vision is to be your favorite shopping companion, to never miss out on a great offer. I have, ha I have here in my hands a nice uh, newspaper, um, which I found this morning. And a couple of years ago, the only possibility you had to research for local in-store deals was uh, by going through your newspaper and see what kind of uh, offers are in there. We said, okay, we have to fix this by creating a central destination on the web where we combine all the offers that you typically find in your mailbox uh, and make it a lot more efficient and easier to engage with these deals and promotions. And what you see here is a few screenshots of our US product called Retail, R-E-T-A-L-E. And what you can do as a uh, consumer is to basically, I like to say, you dive in a virtual shopping mall. You can browse through different categories, grocery, fashion, uh, everything around the house, electronics, and we present you uh, a virtual form of a rich digital circular. Now you may ask, <clears throat> that's a bit antiquated, why did we go for uh, this uh, circular format? And the reason is, it's very simple, it works, and users simply love it. Consumers have been conditioned by uh, retailers for over 50 or 60 years uh, to experience this nice format, and a circular usually tells you a nice story um, why a promotion is really attractive and why you need to buy it. <clears throat> so that also means that on average we only have one or two percent of a typical uh, retailer's uh, product assortment on our platform, so there is a certain scarcity value. Uh, whatever users find on our app, they know it's a really great and compelling offer. That's also a reason why typically our users check our app between two to three times every week, because every week you have exciting and new offers uh, on our platform. In the end, our goal is to drive people to the store, so we consider ourselves as uh, the ally for um, brick and mortar retailers to leverage mobile and bring people back into the store. <clears throat> When we started, as Marco said, uh, we didn't think that this would become such a nice global success story. We started off as a company called Kaufta, uh, me coming from the beautiful part of uh, Schwabenland, Swabia in, uh, in Germany. And we thought that this was, would be the right naming for this. And as you can see, we have grown it into quite a big international group by now. And the concept that we uh, initially created um, works all over the globe. Um, so we are now live in 11 countries uh, with seven different local brands. Um, we did this with different local brands because we are convinced that every <clears throat> market is an individual one for us. So our business model works very similar uh, to classifieds. Um, so there's not a lot of international overlap and we really want to make sure that um, our local uh, companies can be a good partner to the local retail ecosystem and you have a big difference <clears throat> in the retail culture between all these different uh, countries. And we have about 330 employees, most of them sit in, um, in uh, Berlin, and we have also grown quite recently through uh, M&A, so we acquired the number two in Germany called Mein Prospect. Uh, we acquired um, a company out of Barcelona called Ofertia Group, um, and with them <clears throat> we actually um, teamed up with the founders in there, so we acquired about two-thirds of their shares. Um, and they are still active, pretty much like me. And together we expanded through the Barcelona company into Scandinavia uh, and uh, Latin America quite recently. Now, 
<clears throat> a bit of a group a history about us. In 2011, we decided to team up with uh, media group uh, Axel Springer. And I'm really, really happy that we made this decision. And I'm even happier that back then I decided uh, to only sell a very tiny part of my shares. Um, so we have um, a very productive relationship with, sh relationship with them. Um, we still have all the entrepreneurial freedom that we have before, but uh, with a strong backing and the financial firepower of uh, Europe's, um, or one of Europe's biggest media companies behind us. And all together, um, we decided, okay, this is such a nice uh, German and European success story that is not based on an American role model, and there is still no equivalent in the United States. We have to uh, attack the US market. We decided that two years ago, um, we uh, recruited a really um, experienced team, among them a former head of sales from AOL, um, from the Chicago Tribune and the former CMO of uh, Sears Holdings um, to run our US business. <clears throat> and um, we have a really nice uh, growth in the US market as well, which is now our main focus to really build a big international uh, player in that, uh, in that category that we created. Um, <clears throat> the market is super big, um, $35 billion globally, roughly half of this is uh, in the United States. And um, as you can see, 75% uh, of US consumers actually uh, make use of these printed circulars um, on an ongoing basis. <clears throat> Our business model is very simple. It's a cost per engagement, how we call it. So whenever a consumer engages with a, a circular, we get a cost per engagement fee. Um, the nice part about this is that it's also very effective for our retail partners. Um, and um, we have been able to grow our business very rapidly in the past uh, few years. As you can see, um, we're now a mobile first company. Over 90% of our revenue is coming from mobile. And um, the growth rates have also been very nice over the last couple of years and will be so in the future. This is a selection of our, um, our clients. So we work with almost all of the big retailers in the world. Um, also, um, we have about uh, 200 uh, US retailers that we signed up in a very short amount of time. And uh, most of the names uh, are quite familiar to you, I guess. Um, and it was very nice to hear um, Olaf Koch's presentation because I think all of the uh, Metro Group companies are also a part of our platform. The last and most important thing that we have uh, focused a lot on is um, what we call in-store attribution. So for our retail partners, it's obviously very important to know um, what will change in their stores when they are present on our platform. Uh, and historically, this has been quite difficult to connect the dots between uh, mobile um, ad engagement and uh, offline revenue. But we have solved this magic formula with a couple of partners um, to really um, help retailers analyze the effects of being on our platform. And this is just um, a quick overview. Uh, over 90% of our users actively plan a trip to the store by using our platform. Um, we have, on average, between uh, 70 to 200% uplift on store visits. So when somebody engages with a promotional content uh, on our platform, they are uh, 70 to 200% more likely to go in store, and this is uh, actual data. Um, and on average, we also have a much higher basket size. Yeah, so in the future, um, the mission for us is to really focus on the US market. Um, grow that business there. If we only make it half as big uh, as we are in Germany, then um, we will already have a really huge uh, global category. Um, and we also have a lot of nice initiatives planned on the product side. But um, since the topic today is competition, I'm not allowed to share that um, because I'm sure uh, all of our uh, about 50 European copycats that we have would really love to, to see our plans there. So thank you very much.